Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Got the tiny home uncovered. It's partly sunny today, partly cloudy, but this should make you all happy. I've got some lag bolts, big thick bolts, uh, nearly thick enough to go through the whole thing. So I got them long enough to fit the job perfectly. So I'm going to pre-drill the holes here now and make sure that this, these two frame halves are very well secured together. So I gotta get my, my drill out and start getting this going here. So I'm just gonna drill through the various points in the frame. Eight bolts is a lot. So I'm going to pre-drill all the holes for this and then I'll come back with the uh, socket, the ratchet set and screw them in. So here we go, I'll tie these together. Already, when I was walking on this to drill the holes, you can feel the floor feels pretty solid on the frame. There's not much wiggling anymore like there was when I first put the floor joist on here and they were just resting on. Everything's feeling pretty solid now. Of course, it's all going to solidify as I build up anyway. That's a given. But that should help secure these halves together even more firmly. I had a friend tell me he was concerned about that and I should use some lag bolts. So here they are. I'm going to go ahead and put all them in. I've got eight of them so that should be enough. Well, some people will be happy to know, while I was at Harbor Freight, I picked up this uh, screwdriver kit, which I didn't get so much for the screwdriver as for the extension and the, the bits, because my bit is slipping, and well, I actually don't think that extension will work for me, but I have an extension, and it's got all these bits, which are perfect for my power drill, at least I hope so. That's the theory, anyway. So, I'm going to put them to work. I'll put down liquid nails, as I was advised, and I've got my framing extensions in place for my floorboards. And I'm going to pop in this last piece on this edge and screw it down. Screw it and glue it, as I was advised. Stuff is warped from all the humidity and moisture. That's going to be fun getting in place.
Yep. This is gonna be a job. All right. This is really warped badly, so it's gonna be a project. I'm gonna get this board in place and screw it down. I figured I'd share with you the solution. I put some heavy cement blocks on each end on board so it doesn't scruff up my wood. And then I pounded it in holding a wooden block in my hand and a hammer and I got it. I got it in place. And I got the tongue and groove pretty tight. I know you're supposed to leave an eighth inch space but um, I don't want to leave. That's a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth inch space. But it looks way better than that other joint back there. And it's going to work now. My gap on the edge is pretty bad so I'm going to pry this back up and screw in some boards underneath so I have something to screw that down to all the way across so I um so this floorboard will be held down properly I haven't been using my camera much um, what I'm doing I just took a break is actually looking at where I might put my TV uh, I just put in edge supports here and over here for the the floor that goes between the wheel well I don't know if you remember I cut that a little shorter so I have to have something to screw that into and I'm just about to put a central support in over here for this end this edge board for this uh, for the joint to rest on and I'm gonna run another bit of wood on this side and this side as well where the two joints here meet so they both have a lip to uh, grip into something to screw onto so this side is from here back is all ready to go I can't get anything into here because that's where my double boards are so I can't get screws in so I can't really put a brace but every other one is going to be fine anyway for where the seams of the floorboards go at least I think so I'm just trying to finish getting all the floor down today and I have had some distractions and been running to and fro today so I didn't get a lot accomplished yet but I hope to get this floor done today so we'll see I've got about three hours left of daylight we'll see how it goes I uh, don't believe in chemicals but I just put bug powder underneath my tiny home around the perimeter that's what this line is here and I'm putting diatomaceous earth down because there are carpenter ants trying to move in now already they found a nice cozy home and uh, this is diatomaceous earth I'm trying to get rid of any possible bugs because there's carpenter ants moving in there's little ants and I just found a mother cockroach must have been in the insulation because there are no cockroaches out here I've never seen a cockroach ever, not even in my landlady's house. And I just saw a mother cockroach in the floor of my house with a big old egg sack on her. So disgusting. I think I killed it, but I'm not sure. Those buggers are so fast. And I uh, scraped my, I knocked it off, and then I ran my foot over where it was. I couldn't find any trace of it, but still, there could be babies. So I sprayed the, uh, I, I shook out diatomaceous earth all over where it was. And I'm putting a border all the way under my house of bug killer and diatomaceous earth. I'm going to be double, double sure. I'm thinking about actually putting some inside the insulation in the flooring just to be safe. But um, uh, in a world, what I haven't covered yet, I do not want any bugs in this house. But I'll tell you, I have had a battle today. Half the day, half of my wasted time is fighting with insects trying to get in my house as I build it. It's insane. There are ants, spiders, cockroach. Uh, everything wants to get inside my cozy home as I build it. I gotta get this floor on here fast, and seal this off and caulk it so nothing can get in. Uh, really, I can't believe the battle I'm having today with bugs. It's really, really unbelievable. So I'm gonna continue putting a perimeter all the way around the trailer frame See, I've got the two stripes, two different colored stripes there, all the way around the perimeter. And uh, I might even put a little bit thicker on that bug powder, that light tan powder. And make sure that this house is safe. There's so many bugs out here. 
Good thing I don't do this for a living. I wouldn't be doing it long. I'd be fired. I am slow. But, I'm getting another board down. Liquid nails, as it was as it was suggested to me, help keep this thing held in place. Keep the squeaks out of the floor. wheel helps a lot. Now these boards are not square by any means. So I have lined them up so that they um, fit my house the best that I can. have something to screw on to and hold it down nicely along its perimeter. Do the best I can with what I've got. Here, here, okay. I've marked out where the supporting boards are underneath. Mosquitoes are coming out. This means it's getting late in the evening.
I'm hoping that this is going to be my actual floor that I'm going to live with. We will see how it looks when I'm done. This wasn't meant to be the actual floor of the house. That's what I'm going to use it for. And it's going to be a cheap, tiny house. But I think it'll be all right. I'm going to keep on screwing this down. Okay, that's down. Um, there is going to be, or there are going to be gaps in this floor. There's nothing I can do about it. Just by the nature of this, these plywood boards. And also, there's a lip here. This, they're both screwed down tight and there's nothing I can do. There's a lip here So these aren't exactly the same thickness either that or they're warped or something I don't know but there's a lip here and there's a lip here. So these are uneven no matter what that's uh, unfortunate now I've screwed this down well where the kitchen is going to be and especially over I've doubled up the screws you can see right there especially over the the two floor joists where they they join together here and I've put extra screws in the, this is where the kitchen is and where I'm going to be standing a lot and working. So that this board here especially, this one here is going to be taking a lot of my weight a lot of the time when I'm in the kitchen working. So I made sure I screwed that down very well and especially here where there's going to be a lot of flex. So that's really secured nicely. So a little bit at a time. I don't know if I'm going to get it done before dark, but I'll keep on going. Because as I said, I'm fighting bugs as I go. The um, carpenter ants keep exploring and other things. There's spiders trying to get in, especially daddy long legs. And also, I have been putting extra support underneath the lips of the boards where they overlap, especially. So that there's something, to, some meat for them to screw into and glue onto. So I'm going to keep on going and get the next one. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get it done tonight, but we'll see. So to swap batteries. Right in the middle of a screw. So, now let me see what I got here. There's a support here. There's there. Again, right now I'm sitting in the kitchen, screwing down the kitchen floor. <sighs> I 
And what I do is I line this board up with the screws on the floor joists. So if I have a guide, I know where they are. Check my work. Everything's down. I see all the seams are in, all the way across. Looks like it's gonna be okay. Yeah, feels good. No squeaks, no creaks. I've been walking on this all day. I can't avoid it. While I'm working on it, I'm going to sand this floor anyway when I'm done. But I try to kick off my feet, and I've been sweeping the floor as I go. But there's no, no give. There is no give in this floor at all. Three-quarter inch tongue and groove is good. Now, unfortunately, I had another major gap here, so I'm going to have to use a lot of wood filler. But I can't change that. There's nothing I can do. Maybe one day in the future I can put down flooring on top of this. But for now, this is my floor. There's nothing I can do. But, it's getting there. See, there's some gaps there that I can't get rid of. I tried and tried and tried, but being alone, there's just it's, there's only so much I can do. And so much force that I can exert on that board. So I got this last piece here to put in, and then, then I've got my last three boards. I might get it. It's it's seven o'clock right now. I might get it done. I might need some bug spray because I'm getting bit up. Well, that's it for the night. I did not go any further. I did some measurements and uh, thought about how much I got to cut yet. See, so I'm. It takes me a long time because I'm picking through rotten lumber, trying to find good pieces to do the um, cross bracing with. So I'm just not getting as much done as I'd like to, as fast as I'd like to. I want to thank you guys for the advice putting a hump in the middle of the floor under the tarp to help the rain run off. Sometimes you forget the little things. You try to worry about complicated stuff instead. So I put a hump in the middle there. That way the rain will run off the sides. I left the uh, wheel well frame out for now. Um, that was also a place where water was pooling. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. If it rains, that it's not going to hurt that in that short period. That's it. What I last showed you is all I've accomplished for the night. And uh, it's getting dark, so... That and the mosquitoes, boy, they start to seek any exposed area that's not bathed in mosquito spray. Um, the repellent works. But if you're not bathed in it, if they find a single spot that's not covered, they'll go after it. Well, that's probably because there's more mosquitoes out here than there is food for them to eat. But anyway, that's it.